Hello everyone, this is my third installment of my sketchbook series. It's a series where I experiment with one medium for an entire sketchbook. I did this with watercolor and gouache. And now I'm trying, drum roll please, colored pencils. Oh wait, you probably read that in the title. It just feels like a really good tool for like general sketching and a lot of people also use it for mixed media work, which I will eventually do once I feel like I don't know, I have like a good grasp on all these different mediums. So getting into the tools of choice, this is a tiny sketchbook. I definitely will size up next time because I feel like there was just so little space on the page, which can be freeing, but it also felt constricting. So I've got two stickers on the first page. This is my friend's cat, Smudge, and another of a trash raccoon. I started off the sketchbook in October last year for Inktober, and I'll put the words on the screen, but I was just trying to get familiar with how coloring looks, adding darker shading, line work, and of course I've got to have a terrible self-portrait to start. I decided to start taking the left page to sketch out some ideas, and that really helped a lot. Uh, my favorite thing to do with color pencil is just sketching with a single color. It just Blending two colored pencils can be a lot of work, and I don't really like the way it looks. But I continue to push myself to try different things, to like figure out a style, I guess, which, I mean, that's like what a sketchbook is for. Here are a couple drawings of my whippets, of my dogs, unrelated to Inktober. If you didn't figure it out, I am using a different list than the official Inktober list. And this is a list from an Instagram artist, Furry Little Peach. Uh, I've done Inktober in the past, and I just found that her list had more concrete words compared to the original list. And that like helps me cut down on time of like me thinking of what to draw. Some of the official words were like mindless and dizzy, and it's just like more difficult to think of what to draw. Here's some sketches of people's faces with just one color. This is a really cute ship in the water that I really like. I do appreciate Inktober though. It's a great time to get back into drawing. Not only does the list give you like so many ideas for what to draw, but there's a ton of inspiration on Instagram and I feel like the whole community is just like drawing every day together. There's also so many other lists, like if you don't like your word of the day, you can pick something else from a different list. The second half of this sketchbook, I was on my own thinking of random stuff to draw and you can decide whether that's better or worse. This is one of my favorite pages, just like some instruments, and I really like this drum set. This one I had this idea of like the Emmys trophy, the award show for TV uh, being animated and could be cool as like a GIF. This sketchbook has a lot of animal studies, the first one being this cute little fox. Through the various studies, I feel like I get closer to what I want it to look like. For the words dark and light, I like this idea of like a light bulb turning on and off. Here's a collection of blue items. Um, another animal sketch. This one is of a little baby lamb. And this is the last of the Inktober sketches. I think after this I took a bit of a break and re-energized myself to try to spend more time on each piece. Um, before, during Inktober, I would like do maybe an hour on each of these drawings and later on I spend like closer to three hours sometimes. This one's inspired by graphic novels and how they betray various elements of like fire, water, uh, you know. And then I took some time to learn about human anatomy because never did that. 
and back to animals. Here's some more faces. I think this one is pretty good, if you can tell who it is. I just bought my new car, so I was inspired to draw that as well. Here are some still lives of random cleaning objects I had near me. Some more still lives of other stuff around me. Some still lives of the dogs, which was very difficult because they kept moving around, even though like all of these are just of them sleeping. Here I was watching the Irishman. Oh, and I guess I did end up drawing faces with multiple colors. Didn't really work out well though. This is inspired by the color palette and abstractness of another artist. It's very cheerful and I love how like, like random it looks. Sometimes when I didn't know what to draw, I looked at which color pencil was the least used and that happened to be a lot of the reds, hence this brick fireplace. I trade landscape. Um, I wasn't really trying to go for like a realistic look, so it's just like a bunch of scribbling. Some more dogs. This one is pretty good. Here's some random doodles inspired by the grocery store. I want to like eventually do a children's book about the grocery store, and I was like gonna draw some other produce, but I think I forgot. This one was inspired by Kay. He said, draw Snilly as, that's our dog, as like a melting ice cream. Uh, I was watching or like tried watching Little Women while drawing this. Uh, I love these two little bunnies. The rest are meh. And every sketchbook I've had so far, I try like a really detailed animal drawing because I don't know, fur is just like so interesting and also forgiving to draw. This one I was inspired by homemade bread and I started drawing raisin swirl bread and I thought that'd be cool if it was a galaxy. Um, so that's like the starting ideas of that. Some more dogs, this time other types besides whippets. And here, oh, I did draw some produce. This one is bok choy. And the last page, I drew two of my friends. Uh, it's much higher stakes when you have to draw people you know and like people who might see this. I hope you got some ideas for your own sketchbook and let me know your favorites or if you hate it at all. Thanks for watching.